My Digital Landscape. Hey everybody, this is William with My Digital Landscape. Um, today I wanted to talk about creating an app preview video for iTunes Connect. I know this has been frustrating for myself and a lot of us uh, when you're trying to get up a new video and you're not able to get the right resolution and Apple doesn't seem to provide the exact steps. So I'm going to talk about doing it in Final Cut Pro today. Uh, the trick to this one, uh, right now we're going to create a app preview that's going to be, um, uh, this particular app's going to be landscaped. So it wants 1136 by 640 as far as a pixel count. Uh, and we want to get it into this screen. These are old screenshots that we had from a previous version. So when we're preparing for a new submission of the binary, we have an opportunity to upload um, that app preview. So here's the trick is when we are in um, Final Cut, we have to create a new session. And this is what I think a lot of people are doing wrong because I had the video that we wanted at 1080 and, uh, and it was not working. I couldn't figure out how to export it at the right, um, uh, at the right resolution. So here are the quick step-by-steps. Again, we're going to create this one for the 5S, 5C. Um, so we have our video complete, but what we need to do is we need to go in and we need to create actually a new project. When we're creating the new project, this is the trick right here, is this is going to be set normally based on video clip. And what you need to do is we need to create custom right here. Um, let's call this one... Uh, iPhone 5S uh, app preview. And what we're going to do here at custom is we're going to have to um, go in right here again and we're going to select custom again. From here, we're going to be able to type in the dimensions we want. So my app is going to be a landscaped, so it's going to be 1136 by 640. And you can get these dimensions easily from Apple, they just don't tell you how to do this easily. Um, we're going to then set it to, this is important as well, or else iTunes Connect is going to reject it. Because uh, I had another one at 1080, but it was at 60 frames per second, so it looks like it's going to upload, and then it doesn't. They all need to be at a frame rate of 30 frames per second here. Um, so we're going to set these and we are going to create a new custom session. Now uh, what I'll do to make it easier on myself and let me quickly close this one down. I'm going to just grab this file off of my messy desktop here. This is at 1080, but I'm dragging it into the session that is at the right frame rate. And this is going to take a second to render. Um, now we're going to just need to export this and we're going to go export here. We're going to choose export the master file and then we need to make sure of a few settings on here. So let's click settings. This is normally not defaulted, so make sure you're here on video and audio. A lot of the times it'll default to just video. And a lot of the times you'll be set to something else here. Make sure you are at H.264. Um, and we are going to just go ahead and click Next here. Uh, App Preview, looking good for 5S. Good. Go ahead and save that puppy to the desktop. We'll let that one render up briefly at that new resolution. Cool. Let's go ahead and go back into iTunes Connect. This is going to be our preview for the 4-inch. And um, I'm just going to again drag this away. 
Let's move Final Cut to the side here. And let's grab the video here, which now when we drag and drop, we get what we've been looking for the whole time, which is this will actually upload because now it is at the proper sizes. Um, give this one a second and you can actually edit the poster frame, meaning the, the thumbnail frame that'll come up. And once again, this is William with My Digital Landscape. And this is how to create your app preview for iTunes Connect. Have a great day. Cheers. My Digital Landscape.